light is on. This is a Samsung Android Galaxy S i9000 GT. Uh, connect to Wi-Fi. YSX6. Obtaining up IP address. Okay, connected. Then we go to applications. GCS. Have the map data 10 satellites so we have the data 20 volts and match gps landing control these are the controls to fly the copter we go to settings parameter interface go to get and we got all the data roll pitch sensitivity roll throttle rotation magnetic decline 6.5 Now once you get the data in the parameter menu, you need to see the magnetic decline. Uh, Lotus RC will supply a complete detailed a list of uh, different areas or locations magnetic values that you can actually enter according to your area. So once you enter, uh, you change this value, then you go ahead, send. Once you send, you come back and see uh, everything is right and then you get you get and see if you have this thing changed. Magnetic decline value has been changed. If it has been changed, all right, you can move to the next step. Okay, once you have set the magnetic decline, uh, your data is right, you go to settings and you will click the disable RC button and the motors will start working, the propellers will start spinning and after that you can say auto take off and the quadcopter will take off and start hovering with the GPS position hold by two or three meters uh, altitude. And then of course you can go to control and using this uh, control panel you can easily fly. If you tap up, quadcopter will go higher. You tap down, quadcopter will reduce the height. Tap left and tap right will yaw left and right. But when you press in the center forward push forward push backward push left and right you can steer the quadcopter accordingly so let us go out and start doing it <laughs> 